Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and Julian. One of us gets to work with Julie Andrews, and one of us does not. Unfortunately, I'm the not. <laughs> you are the person. How yes. The million dollar question. Is that like the coolest experience of all time? Uh, it's It's been incredible, incredible. I mean, it, it was at first it was shocking because I grew up watching Mary Poppins and Sound of Music, but then it became this really cool kind of nurturing relationship. We like share music from different ages, uh, acting tips. Um, she kind of became my honorary godmother and uh, it was it was very, very cool. Very when you cool. get the call, hey, we're casting you opposite one of the greatest television and film icons of all time. Yeah. You're a young actor. Like, what are you doing? Cartwheels? Do you defy gravity at that point? There, what, what happens? There were probably two cartwheels involved <laughs> when I got the phone call. Um, well, when I went, when I went in the room, I was I was mind blown. Um, but then I sort of was like, you know what? This is it. This is real. She's cool. We get each other on this level. And I think they ended up casting me. I mean, for other reasons too. But because me and her actually really got along. And you know, by the end of the day, sometimes we were shooting for maybe two months together. Um, there were fifteen hour days sometimes. I'm like giving her a shoulder rub and I'm like, Julie, we're going to make this. We're going to do this. And it was like we became this really cool duo. Um, and it was it was it was unreal. <laughs> I feel like Julie's green room is almost like a modern day Netflix version of Sesame Street. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. You know, in a way, we're, we're trying to make it even more than that because it's it's not only does it have these awesome puppets, but it also opens to a broader audience because we've got we've got me who I'm like the kind of multi-ethnic cool like <laughs> young guy. And then we've got Julie Andrews, who is like an icon internationally across the world you know and uh, and then we've got uh, a diverse cast of puppets from all over the world also and uh, and we got these guest stars we've got Adina Menzel in the first episode I was going to bring that up next yeah. the, the, the people you have on the show it's unreal it's, it's un unreal it's it's un unreal double time um, <laughs> and uh, Adina Menzel was incredible I mean Alec Baldwin we've got Sarah Bareilles Josh Groban uh, and every episode is this this incredible person from this uh, very specific craft, you know, because each episode is sort of like uh, uh, a focus on, um, for example, Joshua Bell comes in and we focus on classical music and orchestra, and he's like the most incredible violinist in the world. He's got this $15 million violin from 400 years ago, and he's playing it in front of us, and me and Julie are sitting there, and we're like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, it was, it was, it, it was uh, absolutely crazy. <laughs> if you ever have a chance, there is a viral clip that Joshua Bell has. I don't know if you ever He's saw in the subway. It in the subway. Yes. And he, he was telling me about that actually. And he was like, yeah, nobody was giving me any tips. And I was like, little did they know that if that, the, the, the price of the entire building you're sitting in right now is in that violin that he's playing. And it's not only that, I mean, he's, he's incredible. And in the show, he plays a uh, uh, like a two-minute clip uh, of this uh, awesome kind of play on Yankee Doodle, where it goes it goes crazy and he starts improving and doing all this stuff and and uh, it's it's live in the show, so it's 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 really cool. When you get to star opposite someone the stature of Julie Andrews, what do you take away from that experience? Like, it, there's got to be so much of a true college level education that occurs being in her vicinity. Yeah, I mean, I, I would be on set and we'd be talking and then I'd be like, oh my God, I have to write that down. Like, <laughs> run to the side and type on my phone. Like, okay, write this down. Look in the eyes and feel the love, you know? And, and she's giving me all these tips. She's like, yeah, when I was with Dick Van Dyke, we did this thing and I'm like, oh my God, I'm just gonna, and I'm just trying to make sure I remember everything because I mean, everything she said was just, was just like unnatural wisdom and it was, um, it, it it was it was so cool because it, it was like I was going to I was in this whirlwind with all these people meeting you know I'm hanging out with Adina Menzel in the morning she sings this thing I have a duet with Julie Andrews later in the day I mean it was like constantly like a learning experience for me but also um, an incredible experience where I met all these great people. Yeah. When they come in, do they geek out over Julie Andrews? Like, are, oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can tell these people are here because they're like, "Oh my God, I get to hang out with Julie." Oh my God, a dream, you know what I mean? A dream. And um, for example, we were saying like, hopefully we get Lin, uh, Lin Manuel Miranda for the second season, and he wanted to do the first season, but he was obviously doing Hamilton, yep. and uh, he's just such a big fan of her too. And we're like, "Well, this is easy. Like, let's <laughs> let's get these people. Let's get more." You know, they're just so excited to meet her, Dame Julie Andrews. You know, and uh, and I was the lucky one who just got to be there every day. Um, yeah. What's been the reaction so far to the series? Um, it's, it's been really great actually. And I mean, I'm not surprised, yeah. but, um, it, it's been, it's been really great and it comes at a very uncertain time, um, for the arts. Um, uh, you know, the national endowment for the arts is sort of just cut from the government budgets. And there's, uh, there's a lot of talk about how the, the show is an 
it is sort of we made this and Julie and her daughter Emma made this to educate um, the world and people especially that don't have access to um, arts education um, uh, to give them a chance to to learn these things I mean we have we cover everything percussion um, singing uh, songwriting writing uh, costume design I mean anything you can think of we cover in the show and and it's it's been I think a godsend to a lot of a lot of people who just they don't have any arts classes in their school anymore, or parents that want their kids to have a creative side but um, just can't find it otherwise. Speaking yeah. of singing, you're a heck of a singer. Yeah. How many takes do you have to go through to make sure that you get the right take, or is, is that just... Well, the singing experience was, was crazy because sometimes we would record these songs um, the, in the morning, like I remember my first day on set of the two months, I'm alone. Julie's not there yet. I get there at 6 a.m. So I'm, I'm up at 4, like, steaming in the, in, in the shower, you know, <laughs> trying to, like, you know, whatever, clean out need my, my nostrils. Pour, I need yeah. my pores to look good. I need my to look good. And, and, you know, it's like um, we go in the studio, we sing these songs, and it's like – uh, it, it it was crazy, and actually, I got a little gift from Julie in the in the morning um, that says like you know best of luck, you know, and it's like a little <laughs> magical box of golden lozenges, and she's like, I give these to all my co-stars, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so special, <laughs> oh my god, and uh, you know those were like a godsend the whole time because they're these little, they're from like Switzerland and they're made of like whatever magic, <laughs> and. Um, and they uh, they soothe the throat, and it really helped with my singing stuff because we were doing a lot of it in the morning. And I remember there was one day I had to harmonize with Josh Groban, and I'm like, "What am I <laughs> doing luck. here?" Good luck yeah. on that one. Yeah, and this and this was live too, so they're like, "Okay, we're gonna do this song." Actually, you know what? Forget that. Let's do this other song. And I was like, "You're gonna cut the song I was practicing last night to prepare for this, you know?" And so we get there, and they're like, "Just just casually harmonize with Josh Groban," and I'm like. Guys, this is going to be really, really intense. Just give me a second. Give me a second. And I said, go off set and I come back. And I said, okay, I'm ready, Josh. Let's do this. <laughs> and uh, and I, I, we got to write a, a, another thing we got to do live is uh, me and Sarah wrote like a song together too, Sarah Bareilles. And uh, we got to do this uh, this like little songwriting experience with the, with the puppets and uh, – we, I, I, I had my guitar. I'm a guitarist too, and um, I had my guitar. She had the piano. And we just kind of like wrote a song on the spot and had a had a fun time. And it ended up in the show, which is really cool. Did you have any idea going in that you had a chance at the role? Yeah, I mean, hopefully. I mean, when you when you go in as an actor, a lot of people sort of like, oh, there's no way, there's no way. And I think for this, I was like, this is such a goofy, fun thing. And Julie Andrews is in it, and I just feel like the the breakdown was a little bit like this is me I'm a jack of all trades I can do all these random things and like finally there's something I can put it all into and when I went in the callback room it was the whole team we had this crazy crazy uh, callback it was at the Henson Studios where they have the thousands of puppets that's and the so Big Bird cool. and all that stuff I'm like there with my guitar I just got off a red eye in the morning I'm like okay let's do this let's do this <laughs> and I go in and it's like Julie her daughter the director the head of the Henson company they're all there and and they're like okay you're gonna do an improv with a puppet and I was like what <laughs> and we we did it and it was so easy and and I think we realized that me and Julie got along I I was able to get my relationship down with the with the puppets and then I brought my guitar in my singing and I showed them I could beatbox I could whistle I can do all this stuff and I, I they were just like this is gonna work you know what I mean wait how hard is beatboxing by the way are you able to do it on the spot yeah I can do it on the spot do you want some beatboxing hit it all right Yeah. How long does it take you to learn something? You know, like that? okay, I'm self taught because in my performing arts high school, everybody can rap. And I'm like, I can like kind of rap, but not really. And I was always like, okay, if I'm not going to rap, what am I going to do? And I was like, I'll be the beatboxer. And I just figured it out. And there was every day in the locker room, they'd be freestyling or something. And I'd be like, all right, I guess I'll beatbox, guys. Let's do this. And then it became like a really, really fun hobby of mine. And uh, I just got into it. <laughs> you remind me a little of Lynn. Scary enough. Just really? <laughs> physically, personality. I well, mean, it blows my mind. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Lynn there's, is incredible. Yeah, yeah, he's the best. Oh, wow. Well. Make sure to catch this talented young man on Netflix on Julie's Green Room.